Once upon a time, in a forest, there was a hungry mouse whose belly rumbled loudly as it dragged its weary feet. Suddenly, it spotted an apple tree in the distance and couldn't contain its excitement. Oh, wow, the mouse exclaimed. Those apples look incredibly delicious. Ha, ha, ha. Baby, look over there. High up on a branch, there hung a large red apple, ripe for the picking. It was red and plump, promising a delightful taste. The mouse longed to taste the apple, but the tree was too tall and it couldn't climb. So it turned to its baby and said, Sweetheart, let's put our thinking caps on. How can we get that apple down? Then, as if by magic, the apple fell with a satisfying thud. The mouse joyously clapped its paws in delight. Ha ha ha! Fantastic! 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 I'm so happy! As the mouse's eyes widened, it watched the apple rolling straight toward it. It seemed like the apple wanted to be enjoyed. The mouse asked, Baby, would you like to take a bite of this big red apple? But just as it reached out to take a bite, the apple continued rolling, and with a resonating thud, fell into a deep hole. The mouse's heart sank. The apple, which had just dropped from the tree, was now trapped in the hole. The mouse gazed into the hole and wondered, What should we do now, baby? How can we retrieve the apple? With determination in its heart, the mouse decided to dig a hole near where the apple had fallen. While digging, it envisioned all the delicious things it could make from the juicy apple, like sweet applesauce and mouth-watering apple pies. The mouse sang a cheerful tune as it worked. Digging and digging, the mouse reached the bottom of the hole where it believed the apple lay. However, there was nothing there. The mouse felt despondent and wondered why the apple had disappeared after all its hard work. Confused and hungry, the mouse began seeking help from the forest animals. It asked a giraffe, a crocodile, a snake, gibbons, and even a crane if they had eaten the apple. But each one had a valid reason why they couldn't have taken it. In a surprising turn of events, a tiny apple worm explained how the apple ended up in the hole. The worm had been living inside the apple. Following the worm's explanation, the mouse realized that the apple had fallen into the hole due to its own doing. It was an unexpected twist in the story. The mouse continued to follow the scent of the apple, and it led the mouse to a snoring elephant. The mouse climbed up the elephant and shook its giant ears, shouting, Did you eat my apple? Startled, the elephant woke up and trumpeted in surprise. Did I eat your apple? But the mouse's suspicions grew. With a booming thud, the apple dropped into the hole. The mouse had a hunch and thought, Could it be the elephant? The mouse climbed up the elephant once more, reaching its ears and asking angrily, Did you eat my apple? The poor elephant, scared by the mouse's loud voice, answered, Do you? Did I eat your apple? The mouse, relieved to finally have an answer, watched as the apple dropped once more into the hole. The elephant reached down with its long, flexible trunk, pulled the apple out of the hole, and with a triumphant trumpet, devoured the apple. The mouse realized that the elephant had, in fact, eaten the apple, and it felt victorious in discovering the truth. With the mystery solved, the mouse was content. It learned that solving problems required thinking and seeking answers, even in the face of challenges. The mouse shared this lesson with its baby, emphasizing the importance of using one's wits to overcome difficulties.